Good morning, everyone. My name is Frank Morales, and I'm delighted to be with you and uh, to share uh, our experience uh, and our vision on all this evolution. And I would like, first of all, to thank MEF and especially uh, Chairman Michael Sopol, President Nan Chen, and Kevin for this great opportunity to do so. Uh, as VP Marketing for Connectivity Services, I could say that my job is really to develop product and services for businesses. But I'd rather prefer to consider it as a mission, a mission to reduce complexity by bringing solutions to facilitate our customers' digital transformation. And you know what? They need that. This is regularly confirmed by analyst survey, like this one from Gartner's from November 2017. I'm sure that next week with the Gartner Symposium, we'll have another one. And 45% of CIOs say one management complexities are their biggest operational concern. Why? Probably due to the fact that our customers are all entering into their second step of digital transformation with a strong acceleration of adoption of the cloud. During this transformation to the cloud, the one becomes more and more complex to manage, trying to catch up with the evolution of this IT. And maybe as well, as our customers are expecting the network becomes more agile with automated configuration as the cloud is doing. But let's see how this cloud transformation translates into real life when it comes to traffic pattern. As you can see on this diagram, or maybe not, <laughs> maybe it's a bit complex, uh, we like it, don't we? So I think we I will start uh, with some explanation on this uh, diagram. So uh, you can see this diagram with two vision. On the left, for each diagram, you have the technology vision with MPLS and internet. And on the right, you have the company usage, blue for, for internal, sorry, and red for external. Internal means site-to-site -site and site-to-private data center. External means internet as a destination. So now you get the key. I can come back to uh, the explanation of this slide. So yesterday was simple. Was simple. As we can see with this uh, example, a 10 meg connection, the majority of the traffic was carried over MPLS with uh, usage mainly for site-to-site -site and site-to-private data center. Internet was very small. All days were simpler and better, as we used to say. So we as a range uh, have aggressively and successfully started to move to hybrid solutions several years ago. As a result, you can see uh, the diagram on the middle where we stand now. And during these uh, few uh, years, we have seen the first adoption of internet uh, due to adoption of uh, SaaS application like Office 65, Salesforce, and let's say globally the first step of the digital transformation and the cloud adoption. As a result, we are now in a quite balanced uh, traffic pattern between MPLS and internet. The third one is even more interesting, is forecast. But this forecast has been shared and validated by our customers. No surprise, with the strong cloud adoption, Internet will continue to explode. Internet traffic will continue to explode 10, 15, maybe 20% annually. Not a record science. We are moving from uh, MPLS-centric to an Internet-centric world with strong adoption of cloud-based application. And last but not least, very important to mention that MPLS traffic will continue to grow even though the rate of this growth will be very slow, very uh, low compared to internet, but MPLS traffic is still there. So with that in mind, let's see our vision. Sorry. So we need to withdraw complexity 
and we need to manage this cloud transformation. To do so, we are building a flexible AI uh, intelligent network that will bring to our customers the following benefits. First of all, it will facilitate the acceleration of their business development. Our customers are requiring for more agility and also for a, a more rapid deployment of their solution. So we need to automatize and um, uh, digitalize our uh, networks up to intent-based networking in order to meet this requirement. Then, thanks to automation and, uh, and digitalization, we will be able to reduce 100% the risk due to human error factor. And then, we will assure business continuity with more embedded and predictive security in our network. How this will work? Thanks to end-to-end -end orchestration, from end user to apps, we, will be, we are able to automatize our solutions. Then, at the latest stage, our AI-driven engine will analyze all the data coming back from the network, performance, events, security breach, security issue, to inject new configuration in order to adapt the network instantly and automatically to meet the right level of services, the right level of security, the right level of reliability of our solutions. So it's an ideal world. I'm sure you are sharing this vision. Future is bright, future is orange. I'm an old orange guy. But agility, simplicity, application performance have to be delivered right now. So how to make it? We strongly believe that we are able to make it thanks to Flexible SD1, our new one flagship offer. As an introduction, Flexible SD1 is based on five pillars. SD1 solution expertise, global services, future-proofed, best-of-breed security, and native cloud connectivity. These five pillars ensure Flexible SD1 to transform our customer network at their own pace. Much more than just an out-of-the-box solution, as SD1 could be, depending on who you are talking with, Flexible SD1 by Orange is a global solution that guarantees reliable performance, improved security, support for multiple connection type, cost control, and high quality and user experience for business critical application. It is exactly what we have proposed to Siemens within their digital transformation industry 4.0. To transform their existing 100% MPLS network, 1,500 sites in 94 countries, in a 100% SD1 platform. More competitive, thanks to our capacity to deliver internet access all across the world, a strong part of our global services in addition to capacity to deliver and maintain underlay network as well as SD1 appliance. More secure, thanks to uh, cloud-based security solution like Zscaler, which is fully integrated within our uh, flexible SD1 solution, in addition to 1,200 security experts, nine socks, five cyber socks, we are able to support our customer for all types of security solution. More flexible and future-proof, thanks to our virtual SD1 gateway to manage capacity and compatibility between SD1 and non-SD1 sites, in addition to orchestration and virtualization technology. Adapted to Siemens, designed for to Siemens, thanks to our SD1 expertise with the right technology partners, as Siemens has been able to choose among our four partners currently, and maybe more to come. And for native cloud connectivity, we are able to define strong cloud design with an infinite capacity to connect to cloud service provider with our virtual SD1 hub. Let's deep dive a bit on this topic. 
One point which has been very important for Siemens and for our, all our customers is our capacity to deliver internet access locally thanks to our sourcing capability and our vendor management service. We are doing vendor management internet globally across the world and with a direct solution in more than 120 countries with around 170 local ASP. All these ASP have been chosen thanks to their full compatibility with SD1. And we are able to manage uh, their operational performance in order to engage towards our customers. This thanks to our years of experience on sourcing Ethernet links to deliver MPLS services. To bring more agility and flexibility for next-gen branch office, Universal CPE is fully part of Flexible SD1. Remember the vision two few slides ago. So Universal CPE are used to deploy new solutions on the fly, thanks to the fact that Universal CPE are fully integrated in our orchestration layer, Siena Blue Planet for us. So we are ready to support new business flow by combining orchestration and service management. And also we are able to deliver that right now thanks to a huge catalog of virtual network function in routing, in SD1, in security, and in one optimization. But let's come back to uh, this capacity to smoothly and smartly accompany our customers in their one transformation. How to integrate SD1 within existing network is a key question for our customer as they want to transform their network at their own pace. To do so, we are using SD1 Gateway as a VNF inside our pubs in order to ensure a full compatibility between SD1 sites and MPLS sites, and as well to ensure that SD1 sites will benefit from all the services we have deployed on MPLS. So branches are agile, compatibility is there, but as I mentioned before, flexible SD1 has been driven by cloud transformation. So cloud connectivity is really key in this new way of doing one. In fact, cloud connectivity is a cornerstone of flexible SD1. And it is represented by NextGen Hub. In a nutshell, NextGen Hub aims at merging all our capacities, cloud gateway, internet gateway, SDN pop, into one single upgraded design. Our customers are asking how to manage complexity, security, while ensuring a high level end user experience for business critical applications. Thanks to NextGen Hub, we are able to connect easily our customer to the cloud, its uh, green side, in a different manner. And as NextGen Hub is orchestrated in the same way as branches, we can ensure the same level of service and end-to-end -end performance while pushing the traffic towards the cloud. So NextGen Hub is on the path to deliver our visions again towards cloud connectivity and to make sure that the Cloud destination is fully part, right from the beginning, of the flexible SD1 by our customers. To make that happen, capillarity is key. Thanks to a global presence, a global footprint, we are able to connect easily all our customers to more than 40 cloud service provider partners which are already connected to our networks. And this is the end, again with the five pillars. Thanks for your attention, and we hope to uh, 
have you on our booth to visit our experts to get more about all this evolution. Thank you.